As we wait for Prehistoric Kingdom's new dev diary to release, I thought it would be a good idea to speculate on the future. We have a good few updates laid out on the Trello page, with update 10 being our next update, including the Cave Lion and Elasmotherium. Sort of seeming like it's themed around the Boreal biome. But the updates after that are still a mystery. Update 11, 12, 13 and 14 all have new species, but what those new species could be, I have no idea. But I am very excited to see what update 14 is, as it includes six new species all in the one update. But we also know of a dinosaur that has been teased for the next update after update 10, so likely update 11, which introduces the staff management and paleopedia. So whatever the theming of this update is, I, I have no clue, but let's speculate on what creatures could be included in these updates. So our first biome is the Boreal biome, also known as Taiga. This biome is comprised primarily of pine trees and is basically our snow biome in the game. And the animals that are being included include Panthera, Spelia or Atrox, which are the Eurasian cave lion and the American lion, both of which from the Pleistocene and are coming in this update. Also arriving in this update is the Elasmotherium, also known as the Siberian unicorn. Though recent studies have shown that it likely didn't um, possess the huge horn that it currently has here, but the other Elasmotherium here does adopt a much shorter horn on its head, sort of leaning into that recent paleomedia. But the giant horn of Elasmotherium is most notable of the Pleistocene and the boreal biome itself. But there are a couple of other Ice Age animals, like the mammoth you see in the background, but we also have the cave bear. So the cave bear is a notable carnivore. Well, actually it's a herbivore here. Well, it would probably be omnivorous in some cases, but Ursuspelia is a notable animal of the Ice Age and is in the old roster. But I think it's actually been confirmed for early access as well, so I guess we'll have to see what happens there. We also have the giant Irish elk, Megaloceros. So this is another famous species of the Ice Age that is unknown its position currently coming into the game in early access, or it'll have to wait a while until it is released. But given that we're looking at only two species, these other two Ice Age animals look to be somewhat unlikely. The next biome is the Scrubland biome, a biome that is already in the game, but hasn't really received a dedicated update, well, adding dinosaurs or other prehistoric creatures to correspond with it. And personally, I would love it if this was the update 14, because there are lots of animals from this sort of biome that have been teased already. One of which being Diplodocus, one of the Jurassic's most notable sauropods and looking to be potentially the dinosaur that's been teased, given the dorsal spines and the whip-like tail. But it could also turn out to be a Patasaurus or Brontosaurus, all the same. But Diplodocus, personally, speaking from walking with dinosaurs experience here, um, I would think it would be associated with this animal more than a Patasaurus's. When you think of a whip-like tail with a sauropod that has spines running down your back, you think of Diplodocus rather than a Patasaurus, but it could go both ways. My favorite dinosaur of all time, Allosaurus, also fits this category. Whether it arrived in the same update as Diplodocus, I do not know. But Allosaurus isn't the only famous Jurassic dinosaur that could also appear. We also have the possibility of Stegosaurus, as I think Stegosaurus and Allosaurus are both um, somewhat confirmed for early access release. I Don't count me on that, I, I've just heard that somewhere. <laughs> but Stegosaurus is one of the most famous dinosaurs of all time, so getting it in a more recent update than never would be, would be pleasant, I would say. 
We also have Allosaurus's neighbor, Ceratosaurus, another famous species of the Jurassic. I'm, I'm thinking we could potentially get a big Jurassic update, potentially. But given at the next creature, that could be less likely, as it also comes from a somewhat similar biome. Here we have the Triassic Plateosaurus, a species that did get a redesign earlier, a few years back actually, and we still haven't seen much of it. I actually thought it was going to come in the in the latest update, but that was quickly proven wrong. But Plateosaurus is another iconic Triassic dinosaur that could potentially make sense for a Scrubland update. And not just dinosaurs, but there is another animal that could potentially at be added in this update. The giant ground sloth itself, Megatherium, would per would personally make a great choice for an update such as this, as they are a very cool and unique animal that would be great to have in Prehistoric Kingdom. And I've seen people saying that South America is currently lacking, and getting Megatherium would certainly be a, a welcome addition to boost that South American diversity a bit. Another possibility would be the giant armadillo Didicurus, a species known for its big dome shell and spiked club tail. This giant armadillo is also from South America, so it would also boost that diversity a bit better alongside the Megatherium potentially. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. The next biome is the coastal biome. This biome is mostly adorned by giant redwoods and other evergreen old growth vegetation, such as these ferns and tree ferns. And when I look at this, I think of one formation in particular, that being Hell Creek. And there are two dinosaurs that I would love to see added in the same update, both of which are herbivores, but nonetheless iconic. The first one is the dome-headed Pachycephalosaurus, one of the most famous dinosaurs of all time due to its large domed head and the behaviour of clashing skulls that we saw in Prehistoric Planet and several properties before. Pachycephalosaurus is just an iconic dinosaur that would make a fantastic addition to Prehistoric Kingdom just to boost that diversity a little bit more, as we don't have any Pachycephalosaurus currently. There was Prenocephaly in the early roster, but I I don't know if that animal was scrapped or saved for later. But hey, I would love to see Prenocephaly nonetheless, but Pachycephalosaurus would certainly be a great addition. Another most notable dinosaur is Ankylosaurus, one of the most iconic armoured dinosaurs of all time. Most notably, that large club at the end of the tail makes this animal so recognisable. And it is a favourite of many people I've met. Ankylosaurus is just that well armoured that it would be a great sight in your prehistoric kingdom. And it was also featured in the Early Access trailer. but And I think it has also been confirmed in the same list as the other dinosaurs I've mentioned to being in Early Access development. But don't count me on that. I don't really know. <laughs> This one was a bit tricky, the temperate biome. I couldn't really think of too many animals that would really be associated with this biome that weren't mammals. So my first animal was was the hell pig, Deodon. Deodon is from the Miocene, and we don't currently have any Miocene uh, mammals. So Deodon would certainly be a unique addition, as it is, I think it's related to whales in some distant way, I think. I think that's Deodon, or it's Andrew Sarkis I'm thinking of. But either way, it would be a fantastic carnivore to see added to the game. It would really boost the diversity of the mammals as well. Yeah, it would just be... It, it says temperate continental in its um, profile here, so that's my main grounds for this. Another species would be some kind of terror bird. As we don't have any birds currently, we have dinosaurs, but... A terror bird would be a great site for Prehistoric Kingdom to sort of recreate that rivalry that, uh, that I think some had with the saber-toothed cats. I don't know whether that's outdated or not, but it was shown in Life on Our Planet with, I think, Titanus. So, yeah, well, 
Either way, Terror Birds would be a great addition to a temperate update, but there could also be other dinosaurs that could be added as well. The tropical rainforest is our next biome, and yeah, there was one dinosaur that came up in particular because of prehistoric planet. The Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is an abelosaurid dinosaur from Patagonia, and yeah, it says tropical wet, so that is a bonus to its favour. And Carnotaurus would be a great addition, as Carnotaurus is one of those. I've said Carnotaurus way too many times. This animal is one of the most famous carnivores due to its adorned horns and tiny little arms. It also gained a lot more popularity when it came to prehistoric planet and its unique dance. I don't know whether that would be recreated in Prehistoric Kingdom or not, but yeah, Carnotaurus is perfect. Another famous dinosaur that has gained some recent hype is Therizinosaurus, thanks to some of Jurassic World Dominion and just other paleo media as well, including CompuCraft's new Claws Minecraft add-on that's going to be releasing somewhat soon. And... Yeah, Therizinosaurus would be a great sight in Prehistoric Kingdom, as I would love to see a completely accurate Therizinosaurus. This is not an accurate Therizinosaurus by any stretch of the imagination, but it was the best picture I could get that wasn't just a white background. <laughs> or just Jurassic World Dominion, but hey, Therizinosaurus nonetheless would be a great sight in Prehistoric Kingdom, with those large claws being its most notable feature. The last biome is the wetland biome. Now this biome has received some animals that are somewhat associated with it, those being the most recent Spinosaurus, Aranosaurus, and of course the early access release Dinochirus. But there are a couple of other animals that I would love to see added in an update such as this. One of the first being Baryonyx, of course. This animal is one of the most famous Spinosaurs and would probably go under a decent redesign as I think Baryonyx has been found to adopt some of the features that are associated with mo many Spinosaurs these days. But hey, Baryonyx is associated with wetlands, so it would make sense to add it in such an update. One of my more oddball picks would be Dinosuchus, but then again, it's not really much of an oddball pick. If we got Dinosuchus, Prehistoric Park would be almost complete, <laughs> just saying. And Dinosuchus would really work well with the current swimming mechanics. I don't know whether it would need deep diving, but it, would probably, it probably would. It would give a lot more immersion to it, but I would love to see Dinosuchus nonetheless. And yeah, a giant crocodile in Prehistoric Kingdom is just a dream for me. Another notable dinosaur is Ostroraptor, featured in Prehistoric Planet and several other properties before. And yeah, it's the most notable fishing dromaeosaur. And yeah, I'd love to see it. I would love to see Ostroraptor in Prehistoric Kingdom with its beautiful feathering. But let me know what you think when it comes to this new roster that we're looking at and the new updates in the future. What species do you think would be featured in these updates? What theme do you think they would take? I'm going from a biome standpoint, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. 2024 is underway and can't wait to see what else this year has for us. And as for now, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.